It's time for another two-minute tech tip. My name is Geert Jan Bielenga. I'm a member of the Oracle Developer Tools team. In this two-minute tech tip, we're going to take a brief look at Gantt charts in Oracle Jet. Though the Oracle Jet data visualization library is extremely rich, one could make the argument that the king of the charts is the Gantt chart. Did you know that the Gantt chart is named after its inventor, Henry Gantt, who created the chart in around 1910 to about 1915? Something that could be plotted on the Gantt chart. Gantt charts are notoriously difficult to program. In JET, we are constantly enhancing it based on the requirements we get from our users. One of the most recent additions is the ability to resize the elements within the Gantt chart. Prior to that, we were focused on creating hierarchical tasks within Gantt charts. How difficult do you think it is to use one of the Gantt charts that Oracle JET provides? In the JET cookbook, there is an enormous amount of information and code that you can directly use to implement your Gantt charts. On the left-hand side in the cookbook, you can see this. Scroll down the left-hand side and you will find the move and resize tasks, which are the latest additions to the Gantt chart in Oracle Jet. Notice that Control M enters move mode. And then with the left and right keys on the keyboard, we can move the Gantt element along and place it in a different place and press enter and then it is put there. Getting started with Gantt in JET is easy. Go to the basic scenario and you will see very simple code that you can literally copy and paste from here into the view model and the view of an Oracle JET module or into a web component that you've created for your JET application. And now, simply by copying and pasting from the cookbook, I have the starting point for implementing my own business requirements. Was that a good tip? This is like a dream I've had. We want your opinion. Thanks for watching and stay tuned.